Hey everybody, how are you all? I hope you're well. I finally have my candle running video out. There's no glitches, no hacks in this. I'll leave a brief structure of the video here so you can skip to the parts that you need, but I do recommend sticking around for the start just to get an explanation of how I do it all. So of course it goes without saying, there's not a right or wrong way to candle run. You can do what works for you. But if you find yourself, like I did, struggling for traveling spirits or events if they come, then I hope this can help you out. As you can see from the numbers on screen, I was able to get everything from the Dreams Traveling Spirit from Days of Rainbow and now from this current traveling spirit, which is the Timid Bookworm. So let's get into it and talk about how I candle run. First, I'll start out by breaking down my route. So I start on the Grandma and Kaiser hour. If you don't know what that is, here's just a brief explanation of it. It starts every two hours from reset and then two hours after that. There is a five minute like warm up period and then a 10 minute wax earning period. So first things first, I'll start off with the Sanctuary Island and Geysers then I'll go on to the daily quests. To be honest, I recommend if you start about 15 minutes before the Geysers are about to begin, then you can just get your daily quests on then because definitely the ones in this video took me a really long time. Then after that, I plan to go on to the Candle Boosted Realm. This is the only realm that I will fully run throughout the entire video. And you can tell it's Candle Boosted because it has these little red candles sitting outside the portal gate and home. And then at the end, I do Grandma's and then I go on to do a race in Valley. And that'll bring me up to 16. And also, sorry, if we just pause it for a second. This was the route that I would recommend doing. It's not the one I did in the video, but it's the one I would normally do. But for the sake of the video, I had to film it in a different order just because my timings were messed up. And my timings were messed up because the quests, if there's a quest that's like admire anything, that's like a full minute taken out. And then if it's the walking spirits, you know, the ones you have to walk the light around through each of the spirit memories, that's what took me so long. So I'll leave you guys here. I won't be talking too much throughout this video. Just follow the instructions on screen. But if there's any parts that I feel need further explanation, I'll jump in with voiceover. So for now, yeah, enjoy the video, guys.
Okay, so I'm just gonna hop on quickly here to explain this table that I've brought up. It's from the Sky Children of the Light Wiki website and it's very helpful for demonstrating my point. So if you take a look at Golden Wasteland, you can see it has either 619 or 734 pieces of light. That's because the darkness plants scattered throughout the world fluctuate depending on the day. And four daily treasure candles will boost it in other 200, meaning that you can get up to, you know, 900 pieces of wax in Golden Wasteland whenever it is boosted by those treasure candles. However, in Golden Wasteland, the wax mainly comes from darkness plants that are scattered kind of all out the realm you can see here. And unlike a place like Vault, where the wax is in a very linear format, or a place like Sanctuary, where it gets a lot of traffic and there's lots of players to burn the wax, just in my opinion, I find that Golden Wasteland doesn't really have that. The wax is scattered all throughout the realm and there's not as much efficiency in running it. That's just my own opinion though. If you enjoy running it, of course, you are more than welcome to go and do so. I'm not trying to say how you should or shouldn't candle run, I'm just suggesting ideas to make it more efficient. Oh, and this part gets a little bit chaotic because this spirit was the longest spirit memory I think I've ever had to do in my entire time playing Sky. So prepare for it.
As you probably have just seen, the door was stuck. This happens if you're not able to sit in the white glowing circle in time. Now, coming back a second time, I'm able to do that. It doesn't always work if you go to home though, because if you try to come back, you can end up in the same server where you're just stuck and the doors aren't opening. Or even if the doors do open, if you don't have that gray circle that you see there on the left hand side, it means that the game hasn't registered that you are entering the race which means that you won't be able to get a candle at the end of it. It's happened to me quite a few times and it's pretty frustrating, so just keep an eye out. Well, everything kind of went awry on that one, but I still managed to get 20 candles in about an hour. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope it helps you out. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around to support the channel. I really appreciate it. See you next time.